Hey, what's up guys? If you're seeing this video on the day that it releases, then it's too late. Mark, Mark, Mark. Just kidding, hopefully you picked up on the Drake joke there. I know that it hasn't been done before, but if you are watching this on the day that I put it out, which will probably be a Monday, I am in Oklahoma for work. Not nearly as exciting as California, but I'm only gonna be there for about a week, so I will return. So while I am gone, I wanted to get this video out and talk about the worst training cycle that I've ever had, literally. And I, there's a lot of excuses that I could make as to why it was such a bad training cycle, but when I thought about it, it all comes down to me just not being strong enough to hit the lifts that I wanted to, so it doesn't really matter why. And the reason I wanted to make this short introduction is because in the near future, you're gonna see a video called probably something like unnecessary sacrifices and it might seem contradicting to what you're gonna hear in this video, but I just wanna make it very clear that I know I do not train optimally, but I don't want you guys to think that the reason my training is not going the way I would like it to is because of a lack of effort. The effort is definitely there, but there's just a lot of little things that I will go into later on in the video as to why I am sucking right now, as I'm sure you guys are not too surprised to hear, but it is all right. We have a lot of things to work on. So now I'm gonna stop running my mouth, start the video, gonna be a short one, probably no food, I apologize. But like I said, I wanted to get this out and then we will be back to normal programming on Wednesday. All right, let's jump straight into it. To provide some context, what you're going to be seeing is mostly footage from week five of my last training cycle that I just completed. And the main goal of this week was going to be to get up to some heavier weights, mostly doubles and triples on all big three compounds. However, the ongoing theme throughout this video is going to be not following my programming, not trusting the process whatsoever. And so I was going to try to get to 405 pounds on this day, which was my last PR, and it moved really well last training cycle when I hit it. So I figured, okay, this time around, let's go for a double. It did look like I had about 10 to 15 more pounds in the tank, as you guys will be seeing it a little bit later on here. So I figured the double should not be too challenging. But what we are going to see is this first rep of 405 pounds is probably one of the slower reps I have ever hit and I honestly wasn't convinced it was going up at one point but you guys saw it was a little bit shaky so I had to convince myself that it wasn't just a fluke the first time so I went ahead and did it again and it does move a little bit better but I still knew that I did not have another rep in me after I did get it up so this is the first time I hit it and just watch the difference look how much faster this is and honestly that's frustrating as hell because last training cycle, you wouldn't think I would be stronger, but I'm going to go into a few different variables of what's going on here. So I figured, you know, after all that happened, I might as well just try a 300 pound front squat. Never had done it before, so I figured what did I have to lose at that point? And I lost control and that did not feel all that well on my wrist, but then we moved in to some deadlifts. However, what I'm going to do is take you back a week. So this is what I mean by not following my programming. You're going to see me try reps that I had no business trying on this particular week. Had I followed the programming, I would have stuck with 435 pounds throughout the remainder of the workout. But for whatever reason, mostly impatience and arrogance. I just decide to bump the weight up. So I did hit 460 and it honestly didn't feel all that bad. So I was like, you know, I think I might have an extra 20 pounds in me. So I figured I'd just go for a PR on this week. And to the surprise of no one, it did not go so well. So what do I do? Oh, well, I just try it again because clearly that's going to be my best idea. Not. And you guys see the outcome there. So the week after when I was supposed to work up to a heavy double, well, I still don't follow the programming, and this is just what you should not do, guys. Do not be like me. There's no reason I was doing this other than the fact that there's certain numbers I wanted to hit, and I'm just not letting the process do it for me. So what you're going to see is I load up 480 pounds again, thinking that I could come back for revenge after failing it miserably the week before, and we know what's going to happen here. 
So this is something I never show you guys. I always cut it out of the clips, but maybe I shouldn't. This is when I approach the bar for the first time, and you'll see I just psych myself out. So I have to take a step back, regroup, and then I actually go for the lift and miss it. And this video was going to be titled Anxiety and Lifting, but there's a reason I chose not to go down that route. One is because I don't know how much medical history you should be putting out on the internet. And another thing is I think anxiety is almost just like a buzzword these days. It's almost like cool for people to say, oh, I have the, this anxiety. And it's just, it's really lost its meaning, I think. But if you guys think it'd be valuable to maybe go into some more insights on why I get so psyched out sometimes, Maybe I will do that, but I don't know. I think it is a mental game for a lot of us. So after that, I move in to the wonderful bench press, which I was feeling pretty confident, to be honest, going, I need to stop saying that, to be honest. Of course I'm being honest, why would I lie to you guys? But I was feeling good because I. this is the week before. I hit a PR at 280 pounds, again, not programmed, just you know, willy-nilly going for a PR, which I think hindered me on this day. So had I not gone for that, Maybe I would have had more in the tank for this rep that you are watching currently, which is 285 pounds, which would have been a one rep max for me. Womp womp. So what's been going on, guys? Let's talk feels just very briefly. Well, first and foremost, stupidity. I should not have been getting off of my programming. And it's even possible that the programming was bad from the get-go, even had I followed it, because I am the one that wrote it. The other big factor is I've been working a lot. It's a very busy time for me. So that means a few different things. One, I've been sitting hours and hours a day. So I've probably been going in at 7.30, leaving at you know, seven or so. So that's a lot of sitting and my hips have taken a beating because of that. So I have not really mentioned it because like I said, I don't really wanna get into a bunch of excuses, but I've had, I have been having some hip problems, both on my deadlifts and my squat, just some discomfort. I don't think it's a huge issue. I hope not at least, it's just this lingering pain that does not seem to go away. The other thing with being busy at work is you're gonna have a little bit of extra stress. So sleep has been affected, not really getting the best quality of sleep or enough sleep, but that's just, you know, pretty common for me, I would say. But that is, again, no excuse. You're always gonna have stressors in your life. It's all about managing and managing them. And even though I have gotten so much better at that over the years, and I used to be, I'm still working on it. So one of the things I mentioned earlier was arrogance. And what I meant by that is ignoring all of these other factors going on and going into the gym and convincing myself I'm perfectly healthy, up to par, and ready to go. And when I'm not, I kind of like, well, what's going on? It just, you know, being hard-headed, and I put my body through the ringer. I really do. One of the things I'm terrible at is taking my foot off of the gas when I should, just not giving myself any type of break, which some people say that's good, but, you know, there are, is a time and place for that, so it's something that I need to work on. I realize that, and I don't want to get into too much conversation about what I will be doing moving forward because we all know talk is cheap, so hopefully I would just be able to get better, and as I've mentioned a few times now, all of these are are just excuses. The real reason I'm not hitting these lifts is because I'm just not strong enough, so that is what I will be working on. I am in Oklahoma as you guys are listening to this right now, so I'm gonna be using this as a deload week, hopefully get my central nervous system back up to par, hopefully feel a little bit better. Come back, get on a real program, which will more than likely be my friend Brandon Campbell's new program he has just put out. I really have seen some great things that he's done with that, and I'm really excited to start that, which obviously I will be documenting documenting for you guys. So thank you for putting up with all my complaining and all my excuses. If you made it to this and you enjoyed seeing me fail all my lifts, please like the video because I know that's always fun. So thank you guys and I'll talk to all of you guys on Wednesday.